Hello people of the interwebs and all that, this is Matt Head. I'm going to be giving you an After Effects tutorial about how to do realistic 3D rain particles. Now what you're going to need for this is After Effects, I'm pretty sure you're going to need CS6 or higher. So that's CS6 or After Effects CC. And the third party plugin called Particular. So let's open up After Effects. Alright, come on. Okay. Now, import your clip that you want to have the rain put in. So, I have a cinematic from Carrier, Black Ops 2, in da -da -da, right here, test, cinematics right there. Alright. And then, if you don't know how to do this to make your own composition like drag your clip onto the little film thing right here and then you got a composition it's all good this one is in 60 frames a second or 59.94 so that's all good so right I'm gonna fit up to 100 percent all right so this is what we got I'm gonna put it on half then RAM preview we'll skip one so it's just a simple little cinematic of it panning across the screen. And you can kind of see that it's slow and then it goes like normal speed. So I'm going to cut this to two seconds right there close the comp on it and then maybe oh yeah this is a whole pack I'm just gonna use this for cinematic go to the end of this and let's see right there all right cut it right there and then close my cinematic or close the composition then trim comp to work area so it this is just what we got. It's all good. So I think I'm going to cut it at maybe six seconds just to make it a short little thing. So it'll be a four second cinematic. Put that there. Pull this in. Trim comp to work area. All right. So now, if you've got your cinematic how you want it, you're going to want to right click and then track camera. And this is the reason you're going to need After Effects CS6 or CC because of the specific camera tracker. And you could use a third party camera tracker like Buju, but it'd be extremely difficult with one of the things we're going to use, which is making a plane. And once this is done, as you can see up here, it's time remaining, about 35 seconds. So actually, I'm going to pause the recording and get back to you once it's completely done tracking. All right. When it's done tracking the camera, it's going to give you all these little points. And when you put your mouse on the screen, you can see it'll create these. And what this is, it'll pick three points and triangulate the position so it'll create a plane. And some of them don't work out very well, like if I choose it, like, you can see one of these aren't very straight. Which one was it? I'm not sure. All these, okay, right right here, these don't look very flat on the ground. So we're going to want to find one that's flat on the ground. So I think I'm going to go forward a little bit. And I'm going to try to pick one. Right, right, wait, this one is pretty good. Right click, create solid and camera. All right, so now that's good. We have the solid and we have the camera. So now what you're going to want to do is go to layer, new, solid, and doesn't matter what color. And then you're going to want to put the effect particular on it. Oops. So I'm going to drag that on there. And I'm going to rename this layer, rain. Rename the solid ground. 
I'll just name this clip. All right. In your particular layer, go to the emitter, and we're going to want to put it somewhere where we know where it is. So we're just going to look at the position of the ground, and I'm going to copy these values. The x, y, and z. So now it's kind of hard to see. I'll put it on full, but right there, those little particles are a particular layer. So we're going to have to change some positioning. I'm going to fit this back up to 100%. So now. I'm just going to hide that layer. I'm going to increase, well, decrease the Y value, which will make this go up. Where, somewhere I can see it. So right there, I'm going to go to particle, change the size to 15 maybe. And there I can see it. And add emitter, change it from point to box. And then emitter size X, I think I'll do 5,000. Emitter size Z, 5,000. And for particles per second, I'm going to put that at 10,000. Now, decrease the Y. Pretty much get this so a lot of it is off the screen okay actually I'm gonna put it down a little bit and increase the size X to 10,000 all right and now I'm gonna raise it till it's off the screen all right now go under the physics tab and change the gravity to 600 and that pretty much simulates normal earth gravity and then change the physics model from air to bounce and this is where things get kind of cool under the bounce tab which will just be created when you change it from air to bounce choose the floor layer as your ground layer which is a little green square for us have it as infinite plane and don't change the wall layer wall mode or anything but on collision event, we're going to want to do kill. So what happens is these are going to fall. And when they touch the ground, they die. Like if I change this to bounce, then you'd see, put this on half real quick. They're falling, and when they hit the ground, they bounce. There sure is a lot of particles, so we're not going to do that. So, set it on kill. I think I'm going to make the particle size smaller, so I'm going to go under particle, change it from 15 to 10. <coughs> All right, kind of looks like snow, actually. And then, what we're going to want to do, close your physics layer, go under rendering, and open up motion blur. For motion blur, we're going to change it from comp settings to on. And there you can see now it looks more like rain but we're still just getting started the particles are actually pretty large maybe we should have just kept them at five all right particle particle size five actually particle size 10 and change the opacity put it down to maybe 50 Maybe 75. Oop, not 785, 75. All right. Now we're going to go back, or no, we're going to go to aux system. Turn the emit to at bounce event. Emit probability 100. Particles per collision 10. Life 0.5. That's all good. Velocity should be 150. Size should be five is actually good enough. Size over life though, open this up and make sure you can see these side parts and you're gonna wanna click this one so it looks like a ramp. 
Oh wait, no, no, never mind. Do not, don't mess with that. Size over life, don't change. It's opacity over life. We're gonna want to change. Put that at the ramp. Color over life, don't change. Color from main, turn that at 100. All right. Gravity is fine. All this is pretty fine. So let's take a look from current time. You can see the particles falling. And then when they hit the ground, they create the aux event, which is just more particles emitting out from it. And since the opacity is set to go down over time, see? The what I was saying, the opacity is set to go down over time. So what it does is when it connects to the ground, it creates 10 particles that bounce outward. The only thing is, over their half second life, their opacity goes down, so they just pretty much disappear and it looks pretty realistic. You can change the particles more, but I don't think, you know, after 10 particles, there's not much of a difference. So, you know, I can show you what it looks like at 15, and then it's a little better, but it will increase your RAM preview time and render times and all that. You can see it's going slower. Well, actually, I'm at, I'm at full right now, but. So you can have this at, but I'd say between 10 and 20, I mean, 10 is what I always use. So it looks pretty nice. It's all tracked to the scene. And we're pretty much done here. You can tweak it the way you want it. And the last thing I'm going to want to go over is, you see how it's just, it's normal, and then it starts the rain? What you can do about that is go to a time where the rain's already falling. So I'm going to go right here to this five second marker. And then I'm going to grab the, the rain layer from here or around here and just drag it to the beginning of my comp. And then extend this out like this. So then if I ran preview it, it'll start off raining. It looks good. And the rain looks fine. If you want to blend it better, you can add your own color corrections. Right now, I'm not going to go over that. I'm just going over the rain particles itself. So um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, if it helped you out at all, then I'd like you to you know, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe for more tutorials if you want. Um, I'm doing this video on my brand, new, my brand new computer. Just built it today. And everything's working really nice, really fast on it. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. This has been Matt Head. Goodbye, sirs and gentle ladies.